Now we've got two funeral workers who've been fired after a local veterans group says they disrespected a dead soldier. It all stems from this picture you're looking at right here, a picture that shows the flag draped coffin of a Vietnam War vet in the back of a hearse at a Dunkin Donuts. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank is live in Newport Ritchie with a story. Evan, what happened? Well, Mark, those funeral workers were transporting the body of 84 year old Jesse Coleman to his funeral service. The funeral workers decided to stop here at the Dunkin Donuts on US 19 in Newport Ritchie for coffee and donuts but somebody saw them and reported it to the funeral home. If pictures say a thousand words, what does this one say? They would walk off and leave one of my brothers in the parking lot. Lauren Price runs a national veterans advocacy group from Newport Ritchie and helped bury fallen service members while she was in the Navy. That a veteran's casket would be exposed to a donut shop parking lot so disturbed her, she contacted the funeral home. Not once. Did we ever walk away and leave the body to go take a coffee break? It's just unheard of because it's the height of disrespect that it, that isn't that important to you. Price says a car on the way to a service should never, ever stop, especially with open curtains and unattended. I couldn't pretend to tell you what they were thinking. Jim Rudolph runs the funeral home, Veterans Funeral Care in Clearwater, and says the casket was being taken to a service by a driver and funeral director. They were both apologetic, but fired. There is no excuse for that car to have been at a Dunkin' Donuts. The casket was transporting the body of Jesse Coleman of Citrus County, an 84-year-old Army vet who served in Korea and Vietnam. Price says the episode illustrates what she calls a lack of collective awareness of the sacrifices made by those who serve. People understand that there's a level of respect that they have earned and that giving it to them is, what, is their right we're told by several involved that Coleman's family did not want the two workers to lose their jobs. They have also asked to remain private during this very difficult time for the family. We're in Newport Ritchie tonight. Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News.